السلام عليكم احبائي اعزائي كما وعدتكم على طول انا القادم احلى باذن الله اليوم حنشرح درس 1 3 في جريد 6 فهذا الدرس طبعا تايتل اوف ذا ليسون يوز فاريبلز تو رايت اكسبريشنز فاحنا في سلسله جريد 6 وصلنا ليسون 1 3 هذا ليسون يعتبر ليسون مهم جدا في جريد 5 وجريد 6 لكن uh, نبدأ احنا في الليسن what is the objective of the lesson by the end of the lesson the students will be able to use uh, variables to write expressions as you can see here the lesson use variables to write expressions algebraic expressions I mean what is algebraic expression? Algebraic expression is a mathematical sentence that has some variables and some uh, numbers and operations, of course. Now, let's start. Here. I will start directly by the questions because I will try to explain the lesson through these questions. And number one. Identify the variable and the operation in the algebraic expression. This algebraic expression, 6 over x. So what's the variable? The variable is the letter. Where is the letter? The letter is x. So we can say that x is the variable. And what's the operation? 6 over x it's multiplication or division or addition or subtraction of course it is division so the operation is division and the variable is x Now, explain why 15 plus 1 over 2 n is an algebraic expression. There are two conditions. When actually it has an algebraic expression, it has an operation and it has variables. What's the variable here? Do we have any letter? The variable is a letter that uh, represents a value. So here, n is a variable. So we have variable. Do we have any operations? Of course, we have operations. We have plus and we have multiplication because here half n means half multiply n. Here, let's continue. Uh, now, uh, I will explain why the, the, this, the uh, answer is there. Now here, so the expression has a variable n and the operations are multiplication and addition as we mentioned. Now write an algebraic expression for each situation. He will give me a situation, then I will use a variable, any variable from my mind, and sometime he will give me the variable, and I have to guess or to know what is the operation. Here for example, when he say 5 less than y, less than means I have to use subtraction. So uh, five less than y. When we it's less than, we have to flip them. So it become not five minus y. It becomes uh, y minus five. And in subtraction, it matters if it is uh, which one is first. But in addition, it doesn't matter if we say y plus five is the same five plus y. But in subtraction, it matters. So the answer y minus five. Now four more than more than means what? plus 4 more than uh, twice x now uh, let's go to question number 4 4 more than twice x so in this case we have two operations 4 more than more than means what plus twice x 4 more than twice x so 4 plus twice x twice means 2 multiply yes twice x means 2x 
So we can say 4 plus 2x. And as I said, in the addition, we can flip them. It's okay for us. So we can say 2x plus 4. It's the same. Number five, six times the quantity. Oh, quantity means, I think of brackets, 2x plus 3y. So six times, this means six multiply. Multiply what? Multiply the whole quantity, which is what? 2x plus 3y. So I make 2x plus 3y and multiply them all by six. How I multiply them all by six? I need to put parentheses. So it will be 2x plus 3y multiplied all as a quantity by 6. Now let's go to more deep questions. Now here we start. Let's choose some questions and do them here. 12 times a number g. No, this kind of easy questions. Hey, give me times. Times means what? Multiply. So 12 times g. 12 multiply g. We can say, we can just write 12 g. We can write 12 g. We can write 12 multiply g. We can write 12 dot g. All of them means multiply. P. Pennies added to 22 pennies. So added. So it's addition. One operation, yes. So we have P plus 22. Or we can say 22 plus P is the same. 22, and then question number 10, 22 divided by a number S. 22 divided by, divided. This means division. I need to divide. Which one divided by which one? 22 divided by a number S. So 22, 22 divided by uh, S. Can we write 22 over S? We can write 22 divided by S. Here, let me take another strong example, like number nine. Five less than what? Five less than what? In less than, I have to remember, I have to flip. Five less than what? Three times a number Z, a number Z. So, when I have less than, I have two parts. The first part is five. And the second part is three times a number Z. So this one part and this one part. So which one is first? Five less than three times a number Z. So as I said, in this case, we need to flip. So we need to write the first part, which is three Z minus five. That's it. Thank you very much. But before I leave, I stop the video. Let me take a look at question number 11, 12, 3 over 4, less than. Oh, this is the first part, or one part. Less than what? The product, if 7 and a number x. So it's the same idea of this. The same idea of this it will be 7x minus 12, 3 over 4. Let me show you the answers. And raise these answers, these scratches I made. Here we have, let me help you and some questions from the homework. Let me do some questions from the homework, just three questions from the homework, then you can complete the homework by yourself. Let me choose two easy questions and one difficult question. Look at example number seven. In number seven, what we have? Six less than, oh, we did many examples on less than, so let's change it. Number seven, six. Four times, four times what? 
times no not a number the sum sum means plus so 4 will be multiplied by the sum by all the quantity of x and half so I need to put brackets in this case I need four to write 4 multiply it's enough to put brackets yes sum sum means what plus sum of x plus half do I need to write multiply between the brackets or parentheses and four yes if you if you write it's okay if you put dot it's okay if you just write four parentheses x plus half it's okay now number 10 five times the quantity m divided by two look quantity so this one part and this another part five multiply five multiply what quantity m divided by two so because here is division no need to put brackets four five multiplied by what quantity m divided by two so we can put multiply we can put brackets we can put m over two or m divided by two I think here, if you put brackets or no, is the same. Here, uh, we did two questions, question number six and question number uh, 10. And you need to complete the questions by uh, yourself. Uh, for more uh, videos, uh, you can uh, Subscribe my channel on the YouTube. تعلم الإنجليزي والرياضيات مع مستر معاذ جي بي. وإذا حبيتوا الفيديو اضغطوا لايك ولا تنسوا تشغيل جرس التنبيهات. Thank you very much. والقادم أحلى بإذن الله. يعطيكم العافية.